Elections 2019 on Manawatu People's Radio. Te reo irirangi o ngā tangata o Manawatu. Uh, you just touched on before uh, the Toyota decision from the last, uh, from well, earlier this year it came out I think. Um, and many of you talked about transparency tonight. What specific ideas do you have to improve council transparency? We're all up. Grant, let someone else go first. Okay. Quite simply, I, I think that there should be a, a test for something to be held in council and part two of the agenda. So council would have to justify not making something, to, to not make a, a decision in public. There have to, be, there would have to be a good, legitimate, legal reason for decisions being made in private. Because after all, the half a million dollars that Toyota got is your money. So, you know, we need more openness, more transparency. Uh, yeah, I, I gave part of my answer earlier, but I just want to emphasise that again. Um, so with the, the climate change plan that I was, action plan that I was talking about earlier, I would see a key component of that as having a climate change assembly made up of local citizens who are interested in the area and engaging, because without community buy-in, we don't get anywhere. And I would also, I think that would have also been useful in terms of the way that the Weapons Expo um, happened last year as well. It kind of got dropped on us, and so people were coming into town and trying to engage with council was very, very difficult on how we could have um, you know, input it into that process as well. Um, and also, um, I touched on earlier with uh, the idea of having a homeless and housing strategy as well, of having an advisory group which full feeds into that strategy. So it's the same idea. We have, a, we have action plans and then we also have ways that citizens themselves can move in and uh, um, influence the, the process. Uh, look, uh, Local Government Act um, actually requires us, Andy, and I thought you would know that, um, to test um, whether it goes into part two. 95% of council's business is done in public and is totally transparent. The other 5% is around whether it's a tender, it's uh, commercially sensitive, and we've put uh, measures in place uh, to create a, uh, a register on our website. I just want to repeat too, the, the, um, the Toyota decision was not half a million dollars, so that's wrong. It was 390. So what Toyota paid was development contributions of 620. We were told it was competitive. We know, and the local media know, that there were leases signed and there were other cities chasing it. So we either had a choice, and we were damned if we do, we damned if we didn't. And we took it, we didn't want to see another Glaxo, we didn't want to see another Relta or Sunbeam happen in this city. And I'm proud that 15 councillors out of 16 made that decision. It was the right decision. Could we have been better about releasing it? Yes. It's not the Mayor and Council that releases it, it's actually the CEO. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not a lawyer of a city council or a mayor, but we have to. We, we should know how uh, a state things works, and I will bring out uh, ethical decision making. Not every decision of the council can be made public, as there are some some extremely sensitive issues that have to be decided behind closed doors. But aside from issues of such sensitivity, the rest of our decision making must be as transparent as possible. Thank you. I'm sorry, Grant, uh, you know, I've got a different view here. When it comes to public money, he just talked about uh, they finally just got to, to come up with a, a, a decision to, to come up with how to be transparent. You know, when you're dealing with public money, there's, there's, there's a cross line. You don't go over it unless you quarantine it and you get the public's uh, engagement. That's how this is money. So when I stand for, for Mia, it's just pure sense, common sense. There's a line here. It's a yellow line, and I don't cross over it. Purely. It is your money, and it's our money, and that's what is matters, and that's what I will, will do. 
one of the, the, the big thing about the Toyota is it's not just because of the Toyota, what it, they would bring. It's actually the hush hush. It was, a, it was a, the dog uh, that the tax uh, reunion actually brought it up. If we didn't know, if they didn't bring it up, we wouldn't have known it. So that's why I kicked in to knock on doors. And you know, 90% of the petition from 100 uh, stores, they say, what about us? Yeah, just an ex another example of corruption, skullduggery that goes on. You know, but th this is nothing compared to what goes on with Horizons and with the Regional Council and with uh, LTSA. These are these are very, very. It's a very, very dangerous, very, very scary situation with Horizons wanting to do with their agendas for for our city and taking taking it over, taking over Mass University. Their agendas that are not in your interests. So, an agenda that's not in your interests is like when they take your take um, off you your right to have, have firearms for your protection of your f property or for, for to euthanate stock and things like that. They're, and you're finding your, your human rights are diminishing, your freedom of speech, speech has been taken away, the police state sort of takes over.